Dr. Gloria Google approached us from Shriners Hospital and mentioned that they currently have a therapeutic evaluation tool for patients with cerebral palsy known as the functional dexterity test or the FDT. And the setbacks with this are that it's not necessarily quantitative. So there are a few shortcomings in the sense that you can only detect time with that sort of exam and you uh, evaluate the patient through observation. So there was no quantitative measurement and she said, I'd really like to know more about my patient, more information in regards to how they're moving, how they're uh, being able to trek through space, if their motions have any spasticities or tremors. And then if you can evaluate that graphically through concrete data and display it for me on some kind of interface, that would be amazing. Sí, en vez de hacer trampa porque de repente con el de madera. The Rice kids came in and said, let's take some of the, this test and make the motion analysis from the peg itself versus from the body. And so what is so exciting about this new venture is they took a traditional low-tech device, put it into high-tech, and what we're getting out of it is the quality of motion that someone with so much tone, one which we have tried to manipulate so that they can do better gives us information in a very short period of time. Our total device has an exam apparatus and a smart peg and within the peg are an inertial measurement unit which tracks patient motion, a Bluetooth chip to transfer this motion data over to our computerized graphical user interface that we built. The idea is to take this motion path which is a really complex data set and reduce it to a few scores, like how smooth their motion was, like how direct their motion path was. I look right here. Good. This whole project was never about us. It was about using the resources that the Engineering Design Kitchen has, the Brown School of Engineering, our professors, and the resources that are right across the street at Shriners Hospital to make a device that would make a difference for children potentially around the world. One of the uh, really exciting parts is that we're working with kids. And so when we were designing, especially being one of the, the lead designer on the team, I was thinking it has to be something that's fun. So if you look at the design, you have targets because kids can really easily inter like associate targets with being able to land as close to the center as possible. And the same thing with the trace pass. You know, growing up, you're like, all right, let me like trace the lines or whenever I'm coloring. And so also the bright colors of using red on black um, and white, it's very vibrant. And so being able to say, this isn't a scary tool, it's fun, it's a game. It's things like this that really show you, hey, my education can make a difference, and what I'm doing, everything I've learned, can actually be used to make an impact on the world. One of my absolute favorite parts of what we do here is we use the research and all of the kids that we see every day in clinic, and then we're able to collaborate with a place like Rice University, kind of the, you know, the cream of the crop, university as far as research. It's, it's been a real pleasure to be able to collaborate with them and the fruit of their work is ultimately you know helping kids or helping medical professionals better help kids and uh, that's, that's pretty important stuff.